Aloha. Good morning, everybody. Today, I want to talk about Chinese rose beetles. Nasty son of a guns. Anybody who has these, you, you know. Uh, you see here where the leaves are all chewed up. Just everything's got holes in it like this. There's droppings on the leaves. It's very messy. They shred stuff real bad. Um, they, they get onto quite a variety of different plants, too. But there is an excellent solution to this problem, um, and it's light. If we look up high on this tree, you can see that there's no damage up there. The reason the damage is minimalized on the upper part of the tree is because I have lights going. We're using a regular solar pathway light. One of these jobs, right here. That cost, oh, two bucks at Walmart. Uh, maybe a buck when they're on special sometimes. It's got a little battery in it. Uh, it's got a solar panel on the top and a photo eye. And so it charges up during the day and it turns on at night. Right here, I've got a Fuyu persimmon that has just started to leaf out for the year. And the uh, light that I had on it previously got damaged by a weed whacker. And so I got to put a brand new one on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a shoelace. There we go. All mounted and ready to go. Okay, so this is going to be my defense. I see that they were already starting over here. Look at that, see? Huh? huh? They're getting at it. Yeah, they just chew this thing all up till there was nothing left. Honest, they're terrible. And so if you have the Chinese rose beetle, get yourself some solar lights. Because if there's light on the plant for two hours after dark, they can't feed. They're very secretive. They come out in masses. They don't want to be spotted and eaten by something. So they wait till dark. But if there's light on the plant, you can't do it. It's real handy. Aloha. Hang loose.